Okay, so we've talked about a bit, like, you know, I work um, a lot with athletes. So we, and we talked about how sleep's important and we were talking about how infrared in general can be helpful for them. But, but like, what other ways does infrared help athletes recover? Oh, well, there's kind of a list. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, first off, in the process of, the, of training, we'll start there. Um, you're essentially overworking muscle groups. And so that's part of what makes a muscle grow is by overworking it. But in the same process, you're delivering or um, you are generating free radicals and toxins in the process. Like for instance, um, lactic acid that stores in a muscle from an overworked muscle, right? Mm -hmm. Is what makes a muscle sore. If you, the protocol that we use for optimal health when you're in training and competition is to do a very small um, infrared session, like yeah. if your normal session for a detox um, is and recovery is, let's say, 30 to 45 minutes, mm -hmm. then before I trained or before my competition, I would go into sauna for about somewhere between 8 and 15 minutes, depending on the size of the individual. So if they're very muscle bound and have a lot of um, you know, they're just a larger person, mm -hmm. uh, then they may need a little more frequency. The average adult needs about eight minutes of infrared frequency to start a physiological event to occur. So the first session before you train or before your competition is really just to warm up your muscles, to warm up your connective tissues, to warm up your, your um, soft fascia and so forth. So mm -hmm. you're less likely to injure yourself mm -hmm. and also to create the beginning of what's called vasodilation, which is basically the infrared frequencies when they come into your body, they harmonize with the water inside of you, mm -hmm. okay? And then they seek the densest part of your body, which is your muscle mass or your organ tissues. So now we've got these sunlight vibrations that are creating a resonance, um, we call it a bioresonance inside the body, and they're harboring in those dense areas. And so generally, those areas are also the most vascular areas. So mm -hmm. that vibration is liberating heat, and that heat warms up the surface of the organ or the muscle that's now, you know, embodied by veins and arteries, right? Mm -hmm. And so they get warmed up, and because they get warmed up, they vasodilate. So we're actually creating a larger vessel that allows greater blood flow to come through. Your blood carries all your all your healing properties, your genetic material, DNA and RNA, and oxygen and nutrition, right? Yeah. It's all in your blood. Yeah. So first and foremost, if I can move your blood around your body 15 to 20% more during a session, then mm -hmm. I'm delivering more, more of what's, what's in your blood, which is recovery, repair, um, nutrition, support, mm -hmm. cell, you know, cell support, and um and that's you know super super great and this is just this happens now the near frequencies generate a transient gas that's called nitric oxide and nitric oxide is super important and the athletes know that for two reasons one it also vasodilates but generally the smaller vessels like your capillaries just under your skin mm -hmm. but what it also does that's amazing is it triggers your hemoglobin to grab more oxygen when you make it available yeah. okay and so a great stack that we use in the sauna for recovery for athletes would be um, a nitric, the near frequencies of the sauna produce the nitric oxide or a nitric oxide supplement mm -hmm. and ozone or anything that brings more oxygen. We make o two ozone devices and for that reason that complement this stack. Yeah. And we also make another breathing device that, that um, captures what's called forest air and it's called, our device is called the Thera Air. And basically it's singlet oxygen energy. And right. it's a great way to get light stimulated, hydrolyzed um, uh, uh, um, air or oxygen directly into your bloodstream, which is from a mito for supporting mitochondrial health. It's okay. amazing. Yeah. And so, you know, for the athlete, these, these are the, what I consider the rudimentary um, elements that every athlete needs and they and they do it a lot of them do it naturally but mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're supporting that natural function with our devices and yep. so when you're not doing it for, by being in a competition or being in a training session you're able to harness these 
different frequencies and these different um, protocols to again optimize recovery and then make you a better you know a better performer right. so so I don't know. Let's keep going. I mean, you know, yeah. recovery, endurance, detoxification is super important because there's two things, you know, um, recovery and inflammation is, is another category for, for, you know, for athletes. If yeah. they're very competitive, then they're going to create inflammation. Toxicity and inflammation travel basically on the same highway. So mm -hmm. if I can lower an athlete's toxic burden, then I can also lower their inflammation. Mm -hmm. And that also you know, helps recovery. Okay. So, I mean, keep going, because this is, it's crazy how many ways that infrared yeah. can help us. You know? Well, red light, the, we didn't really talk about that wave. Does that do something specific? Yes. Yeah, in fact, we, um, I took a little um, deviation to the normal uh, sort of game plan I had. And as mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, the first Thera 360 version, which is still the regular one that we sell today, mm -hmm. the sauna, does carry that same um, formula that I mentioned. But um, about maybe less than three years ago, I started to think that, you know, um, the world we're living in today is not the same world of, let's say, Hippocrates. You know, his big thing was food is your medicine. But the food of Hippocrates 200 years ago isn't the food of today, right? They didn't have Twinkies in yeah. those days, right? Nor is our environment. You know, we've got chemtrails and GMOs and, and um, glyphosate is a big one now that's in our air and our water. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, we're challenged. We're all challenged. Um, with these environmental influences. So a big category for me in my research for the last couple of years has been epigenetics because, because I believe that we all have genetic dispositions, but I think many of them are um, brought out, exacerbated um, by the environment that we're living in. And so if you're conscious of the environment that you're living in and you make alterations to support a, a healthier platform there, then most likely the recessive genes and recessive traits that you might be carrying may never surface before. And you know, the way, let's reverse that discussion for a second. Um, <clears throat> what we're seeing in clinic are, are women that are coming in 14 and sometimes you know, around 14 that are showing signs of being sterile and guys that are 18 that have low testosterone. That's not genetic, that's brought on by our environment and how our bodies are interpreting our environment. That's epigenetic. So yeah. there are things we have control over and things we don't. But I don't hide behind the excuse that it's in my genes, you know? I've got great hair. I didn't do that. That's in my genes. Yeah. But I take care of myself so it still stays on my head, you know? Exactly. Yeah, when you know. I was my hair was all falling out. Um, but you also made sure that your products, they don't have high EMF and they're not off-gassing. So you're not adding to that epigenetic kind of destruction or you know turning on those genes that maybe aren't as beneficial right so right. people yeah. about how important like low emf is and how important like not having those vocs the off gassing of the product. okay great those are great great points and i want to bring them up but let me finish on the red light for a second because i okay. know that's a, a lot of people out there are, are very um are very interested in it yeah and so what we've discovered in um, our research is that these light frequencies all do different things. Yep. When I started pondering about the change in the world that we're living in today, I decided to change the cocktail from the playbook, which is following a year's worth of statistics of what the sun delivers to the earth every, every day, to the, the, the world of today. And the world of today um, as it expresses in clinic are people that are mitochondrial stressed, that have challenges, like I mentioned, with early expressions of genetics that they may or may not, you know, recessive genetics that are coming out. And, um, and so I shifted my thinking and I developed a tri-light system that incorporates red light and two extra really important frequencies in the near spectrum. And so even though we're delivering a full spectrum sauna or a healing pad, our devices were weighted a little bit more to the near side of the spectrum. 
now than what the normal playbook of, of what comes from through nature. And I think that is better attuned to the world that we're living in today. And so that's where red light comes in because for any skin related challenges for the production of nitric oxide, for this vasodilation, for restructuring the water inside of our bodies so that the cell communication from cell to cell and cell methylation is improved. These are all the important things. So we're a world, we're a country that drinks a lot of water, but it goes right through us because mm -hmm. it's not um, bioavailable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the nutrients, it doesn't have the energies, it doesn't have um, the structure that mm -hmm. sunlight brings into water when it trickles down a mountain mm -hmm. that is the way we're, we should be drinking. And instead, we drink it out of a copper or a PVC pipe that's got no energetics, or we use good filtrations like RO, RO reverse osmosis is a great way to filter water, but when on the, on the back end, it, it still lacks structure, it still lacks um, minerals and so forth. And so you can drink it, yes, you're drinking water and it will quench your thirst, but it's not getting into the cell. Yeah. And so that's the important thing. Yeah. All right. So you were moving us into a category about EMF and also VOCs. Mm -hmm. And so maybe 15 years ago, I had a theory about EMF. It had nothing to do with the world we're living in today. I'm smart about a lot of things, but, um, but what, again, I feel like I'm divinely driven and I surround myself with people that I feel in their own skill sets are smarter than me. So, 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 um, I had this vision and the vision was, you're sitting in my sauna, anything that plugs into a wall will generate an electromagnetic field. Is your body gonna be conflicted with, let's say shielding yourself from the EMF, the exogenous man-made frequencies that's gonna prohibit or conflict your body from receiving 100% of the infrared that I'm delivering? And I was pondering this and it was driving me crazy. And finally I said, you know what? I don't really know what, but I had a sense that the body would defend and shield before it would be able to receive the full robustness of the healing properties of the sun. So I thought, well, okay, let me take EMF off the table. Let me figure out a way to get rid of that so that there is no conflict. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think that the cell phone business you know, would blow up and that we'd have three, four, five, seven, ten 10G networks out there. And I'm amazed at, well, most of the, of the money in the, that technology is on faster networks, not on caring about the effects of these, these faster oscillating frequencies and what they have on our body. Mm -hmm. And I think that explains why our immune systems are suppressed these days. You know, if you trace all of the um, developments of these wireless networks, 3G, 4G, and 5G, they're almost timed within a month of a new kind of virus that came out, Ebola, influenza, and now COVID. It's, the they're all timed around the releases of these higher frequencies. And so I just think, I can't really point a direct finger, but indirectly, what I think it does is it, until us in the, as animals in the animal kingdom, adjust to these different wavelengths and it become part of us, there's a conflict. The conflict puts us in a compromising immune system. The co it compromises our immune system, which makes us all susceptible to, you know, viruses and bacteria and mold and all the things that we're living in in our environments these days. So, I don't know if it's the dog or the tail. I, uh, you know, I just think that they're all mitigating um, uh, uh, contributions or influences that affect us. Yeah. So you found a way to not have any interruption with EMF on, on your Yeah, own. yeah, I, I did what was actually the most advanced technology at the time and still is in many ways. We shield and we block, but the ones that, the thing I'm super proud of these days is we're actually doing, um, we're har using um, imprinting of frequencies to actually harmonize the body. So we block and shield but the problem with blocking and shielding, honestly, is that it's, it's reactive, meaning, you know, we, they come out with 3G, we fix all our devices and do all the integrations so that we're protected for three. By the time we get integrated, they come out with four. Yeah. Then we've got to dial it up again. By the time that gets installed, they come out with five, right? G. <clears throat> so with harmonizing, it's different because now I'm building your energy field. I'm building your shield, your personal shield. And to me, 
I find that to be sort of proactive rather than reactive because now whether you have one computer or 10 computers or you're in 5G or 7G, it doesn't matter because I'm really working on your energy field and how that interacts with your environment, your direct environment. And so now in all of our devices, we block, we shield, and we harmonize. And that is something that wow. the, not, no one else is really doing these days. The Healthy Hotline is your go-to resource for leading edge health technologies and is powered by Therisage. Therisage brings unique, healthy infrared healing energy to the public in easy to use and affordable, high quality products. Subscribe to the Healthy Hotline and get a discount on your next Therisage purchase. Go to therisage.com and enter Healthy Hotline at checkout. That's one word, Healthy Hotline, to get a special discount on your next Therisage purchase. Subscribe to the Healthy Hotline on YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts, and we'll see you in the next episode.